Just east of Helena, the Canyon Ferry Yacht Club welcomes sailors young and old, novice and expert, and gives them a chance to test themselves against each other as well as the elements. He's in our bad air. He should really tack away. Pat Sorello is the clearer. Commodore of the Canyon Ferry Yacht Club. He invited us aboard his J-24 sailboat, the Saba Win, to see firsthand the opportunities available for people interested in crewing a sailboat. So the motto out here is it's like 90% boredom, 10% terror. On board is Pat's wife, Paula, as well as Nick Sorensen and Kelsey Wagner, a couple learning how to sail after buying a similar boat. I had sailed uh, if a handful of times with family, uh, once or twice a year as a kid, you know, one day here, one day there, but no formal experience on a boat. This crew has to work as a team. No one has just one job. Each individual gets the opportunity to work a different part of the craft, giving each person a chance to experience a different role on the team. Uh, today I felt, you know, more comfortable and needed less and less instructions. And they will change positions every half an hour. They are racing against other Yacht Club members in friendly competition, but must also be prepared to address a myriad of unpredictable scenarios that could challenge them mentally or physically. Well, there is a faux pas. <laughs> when a halyard, the nautical term for a rope used for raising and lowering a sail, became stuck at the top of the mast, one crew member had to put on a harness to retrieve it. Um, it was uh, it was intense, um, for sure. Uh, luckily, they took most of my weight with the hoist. Watching Kelsey expertly scramble up the mast, with the rest of the crew working to keep the boat stable and assisting her with ropes and pulleys, it was hard to imagine this was her first time on the Saba Wind. And this happens a lot. A lot. A lot. This is something that happens and as a crew and, a, and a, uh, anybody that's a, a, a proficient sailor, will, this will happen to them. Oh, wow, wow. All the way off. All the way off. Right? Oh, so you can tell if it's hard, yeah, push it forward. Just push it the other direction. There you go. There you go. Lock it in. But you gotta keep the crew it must communicate if they are to manage the shifting wind and weather, other crafts on the water, and even the different sails and equipment in their boat. It is really exciting, just a different sport, um, different physics, a uh, lot of vocabulary. Genoa, spinnakers, sheets and halyards. At times it can sound like they are speaking a different language. You're luffing the sail, you're luffing. Okay, and I'll teach you that. The more time we spent on the water, the more relaxed the crew became. When they needed to shift their sails, they moved quickly. And in unison, making adjustments in a matter of a few seconds. They kept the boat moving between four and five knots per hour. Sorello has been sailing for around three decades. He says he was drawn to sailing by its ability to take you anywhere in the world almost completely under your power. My goal initially was when I learned how to sail, I said, I want to be able to go to the Virgin Islands and be able to charter my own boat without a, without a cook and a skipper. And so I have gotten to that point. What keeps him sailing? Sailing is like something you can do all over the world. I've met more friends. I run into them everywhere I Long go. On Canyon Ferry with photographer Eric Jockham. I'm Hayes Bartroff, MTN News.